Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope you are enjoying our Spark interview question series. Today I am back with one more question uh, which is asked a lot in uh, Spark interview. Uh, the question is what is the difference between partitioning and bucketing? So whenever uh, you, know, uh, you know I have observed this that uh, uh, people give very theoretical and very uh, you know basic answer to this question so uh, which shows that uh, they don't have uh, practical knowledge about the concept so how you answer this question will uh, tell your interviewer the clarity that you have in these concepts so as part of this video I'm going to explain this that how you should put your points in front of your uh, interviewer uh, I hope you will like this video uh, please subscribe to our channel and uh, uh, share it with your friends so that more and more people can get benefited by this please also share any kind of feedback you have or any kind of questions you want us to cover in in our uh, interview series let us start with this okay so we can understand the difference between partitioning and bucketing uh, from uh, two point of views from the way the data is stored and uh, how it is used both are quite related with each other but there can be two views so before starting to this i'm assuming that you already know partitioning and bucketing if you have if you are not aware please watch the video that we have in on our channel so uh, from storage point of view so there is quite a difference uh, the way partitions of a table are stored in hive and uh, the way a bucketed table is stored so when i bucket a table uh, suppose sorry let us start with partitioning when i partition a table suppose i have a table and uh, i am creating a partition on date column and uh, uh, you know uh, there are uh, thousand different values for that uh, date column then uh, for every value in the partition for every unique date there will be one folder created on HDFS uh, and uh, the data that belongs to that partition the data that belongs to that particular date will be inside that folder uh, so there can be 100 files uh, belonging to a single uh, partition all those files will be inside that folder so uh so as uh, when you want to hit a query like select star from table uh, where date is this so it will directly pick all the data within that folder and show it to you so that's how partitions are working from storage point of view bucketing so when you create a bucketed table when you bucket a table on a specific column uh, while creating the bucketed table you mention that how many buckets you want so even though you are creating on a specific column it is not creating a bucket for each distinct value within that column partition was creating it for each distinct value for within that column buckets while creating a bucketed table you are saying that okay i want to create it uh, uh, on this column but i want only these many buckets so uh, so that's so bucketing uses hash function uh, so what it does it will uh, it will hash that the values of that column and uh, uh, then whatever output it gets after hashing it will find out a mode on that value and uh, uh, and uh, and will put that uh, record uh, in a specific bucket so if you had defined 10 buckets uh, while creating that table then every row in the table will be put into any one of these 10 buckets depending on your hash function so so uh, bucketing is is majorly used when uh, you uh, when you create partitions if you create partitions and the every partition is having very small amount of data then it's not a good idea to create partitions so in that situation bucketing makes more sense so uh, suppose i have uh, in india there is a project named uh, uid 
Aadhaar uh, uh, card. So every citizen uh, records are stored under that. So imagine a situation where you have the whole data in one table. And uh, if you partition that table on state, you know, uh, there are 29 states in India uh, at present when I'm making this video. So that th then the whole data will be divided into 29 folders. So partitioning here makes sense. Uh, now uh, imagine a situation where you have an employee table and most of the queries that you are hitting are on employee ID. Uh, so you would like to use and the joins also that you're doing are on the employee ID. So in that situation, you would like the access to be faster uh, from, uh, uh, you know, employee ID perspective. So in that scenario, you will create a bucket, you will create a bucketed table and the table will be bucketed on employee ID column. So if you create partitions on employee ID, there will be a lot of, there is there will be only one record for uh, each employee ID. So you will be creating for one record, you will be creating uh, one partition, which is very bad. So in that situation, you will be facing small file issue in Hadoop. So, and it will be all waste, uh, you know, your resources will be wasted and a lot of stuff uh, will be wasted. So in that scenarios, it is meaningful to create buckets. So multiple values, multiple different values will be put into uh, same bucket, but it is guaranteed that all the records which have same value for that particular column will be in same bucket. There can be one bucket can have multiple values, but all the records who have same value, if there are 10 records in the table who have same value for that particular column on which bucket is being created, they will be in same bucket, but uh, one bucket can contain different distinct values of that column. So uh, that's what is exactly difference between partitions and bucketing. Bucketing will be very useful when you are using, uh, uh, you know, uh, when you are joining two tables on a column like uh, ID and you have a huge number of uh, IDs in a table. So that it bucketing will make sure that your data is already sorted and shuffled. So your operations, subsequent operations will be very fast on a bucketed table. I hope this difference is clear. If you have any questions, please post it in our comment section and uh, please subscribe to our channel and share the video.